Um, yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm from Belgium, but I'm actually working in the Netherlands for Wageningen uh, University. Um, so, yeah, today I will discuss about the Fortran standard library that was introduced by uh, Milan in his previous talk. And I, I would like also to thank the to acknowledge the organizer of this meeting. And uh, additionally, I will thank all the uh, co-authors of this talk, which uh, helped me to, to write it and to draw the draft. So, as uh, Steve and Milan already said, the Fortran standard is published by the International Organization of, uh, for Standardization. It contains a limited set of intrinsic procedures. Of course, uh, it's possible to add new procedures and modules uh, into the Fortran standard, but it can sometimes take time because it needs to be standardized, which is a good thing, and uh, it needs also to be implemented in, in compilers. And we are told that some compilers do not support fully, for example, Fortran 2003 yet. So it, it can take some time. And also, there is no standard library. And if you look on the on the web, you will quickly see that several attempts uh, were done in the past, uh, especially on GitHub. You can find easily two, three, uh, five, maybe uh, called standard library uh, for Fortran. So the consequence of that is that we all we have the wheel continuous, continuously, uh, and it's what some, uh, it's something that we would like to avoid. So, as mentioned by Milan, uh, the aim of this project is to develop and to provide a community-driven and agree upon the factor standard library for Fortran. Um, so, Fortran standard library is uh, uh, one of the four pillars as a, of a Fortran long project. Uh, it is uh, under the MIT license until now, and this with the aim that uh, everybody could use it in their code, commercial or not. Open source, open source or not. And uh, as explained also by Milan, we aim to collaborate with the Photon Solar Committee. And I reference here the link I will go through for later. So the general scope for the Photon Solar Library is similar to uh, Skipi, also to the default burden of MATLAB scientific environment. And so there are three main topics. Uh, the first one is the algorithm. So it, it aims to have algorithm for to merge uh, different things, to, but also to search things in arrays or to sort some, some arrays or, or things like that. Um, the second topic is uh, about mathematics. So the Photon library aims to support procedures for, for example, linear algebra, uh, sparse matrices, a special, a special function like the cubic root, uh, fast Fourier transform, descriptive statistics, and so on. And the first, uh, and the third topic uh, is about utilities. So, uh, how do we do uh, things with containers, but also strings? Uh, how do we manage files? So, all these things uh, would, we would like that they are also supported in for transcendent library. So, as said uh, by Milan. We, this project was started in December uh, 2019 on GitHub. And uh, since then, uh, there, there are already quite a lot of, of contribution. So just a few numbers here. Uh, since December, there were more than uh, 110 issues open on uh, GitHub, and uh, more than 40 contributors discussed uh, the different issues and ideas that were proposed on uh, GitHub. Uh, also, the, we started some uh, source code, and there are already some functions and, and subroutines inside the standard library. And this is thanks to uh, 16 contributors and more than 100 pull requests on GitHub. Uh, if you go to GitHub, you will see that there are a lot already. Uh, of, there are a lot of discussions already, and this goes on uh, assertion of sparse matrices, or, or currently on the, on the cubic root of, of arrays, and so, but also on string random numbers. So there is a quite large discussion on the large different topics. And uh, if you would like to, to join, please uh, just come. 
So for the code uh, that is already implemented in the standard library, uh, there are nine different modules and more than 40 uh, procedures. Um, it's uh, quite diverse what is already implemented in, in the standard library. So it goes to string manipulations to, uh, to OS utilities. Uh, and then, uh, for example, uh, we have also things about mathematics like uh, linear algebra. There are some functions to extract uh, diagonal elements from arrays or to create a diagonal, a diagonal matrix from a, from a vector, uh, things like that. Uh, there are also several functions implemented for uh, descriptive uh, statistics, like to get the mean of arrays or, or the moment of arrays and, and things like that. Uh, when it's possible, we try to support uh, uh, any rank up to 15. And if uh, the compiler is not uh, able or is, does not support uh, 15, uh, it's up to seven. And the CMake file will, will check that for you. And uh, we also try to support any kinds uh, for the uh, for the numbers, so, so from going to integers to complex. And uh, this is done uh, thanks to uh, meta programming. And for that, we use a uh, FIP, which is a uh, Python for uh, preprocessors. It's quite easy to use, and it it, it let us know uh, we are then able to generate quite a lot of functions uh, for to support all these different uh, ranks and and kinds. Uh, for example, for the function mean, so which return the uh, mean value of the elements of of an array, it, it generates more than six hundred uh, uh, functions for that. So here is a small uh, example. Uh, we have uh, for the function uh, op file, so it will return the fallback value of uh, for optional uh, arguments. So basically, if the argument is not provided, uh, the function will return a, a value. And this will avoid uh, to use the, the intrinsic procedure present. Um, and so with uh, this meta programming, we are it's uh, possible now that we just need to develop the core of the function, which is the same for all uh, all the different functions, except of course the the declaration of the different arguments. And uh, by this loop here, we can then generate all the different functions for the different argument uh, kinds that are defined uh, in the beginning of the module. Uh, when it is uh, generated, uh, then the user can just use, uh, as you would use a uh, module and functions. Um, for example, here we have the, we call the function for opvar in, inside another function, uh, which is called root. And uh, if the, the main argument n is not provided, then the function opvar will return the default value, which is equal to uh, two in this case. Here are other examples of what is already implemented in a, in a STDB lib. So for example, here in this small uh, sample, we have, uh, we use the function, uh, the subroutine load uh, txt that will just read uh, a matrix from a, a text file. Uh, and then uh, there's the function diac that I already called, uh, mentioned that will extract the diagonal elements of, uh, of an array. Uh, dimension two. And then we have the function moment, which uh, will compute the moment value for uh, alongside the dimension one of the array A uh, with a certain mask. And this will be safe in text. So this simplify quite a lot uh, the photon program thanks to these different subroutine functions. Uh, since a month now, associate, uh, there is the uh, website associated to the standard library with the link here. Uh, this website is generated by Fort and is based on the on the code in uh, the standard library and the specs that we associate to the different uh, procedures. So if you go to this website, you will have an overview of, of, of what is already implemented uh, of the in the standard library and a description on different uh, procedures and things like that. Um, so for example, for the 
description of the of our function and subroutine, you will you will have a description of what it does, but also the syntax, the different arguments, uh, and definition of the arguments, the output values and written values that you could expect from these functions, and and also uh, some examples. So this is basically the the status of a standard library, and if, if you want to contribute, uh, please. Uh, uh, come to GitHub and contribute to our repo. Um, and there are several ways to, yeah, many two ways to contribute to uh, the standard library. Uh, first, you could, for example, uh, open an issue and propose IDs or issue of comments or uh, your your feedback and uh, feedback on the st standard library. Um, and if you want to uh, contribute to the source code, you can also open pull, uh, pull requests on, on GitHub. Uh, for that, we have also a code of conduct uh, on, uh, on GitHub to be sure that everybody uh, feel uh, welcome and that there is no problem. So please uh, feel free to to read them. And uh, if you want to contribute to the source code, we, uh, we discuss a workflow. The complete workflow is available on the on GitHub. Also, uh, if you have suggestion, please open an, uh, an issue and discuss it. Uh, but basically now the workflow has five steps. So the first one is to propose an ID. Uh, if you have a nice ID, propose it to the uh, on GitHub, and then we can discuss, and the community will discuss this ID. And uh, when there's a vast majority interested by this ID, uh, we can propose an API, and uh, an API, and from there there is some discussion, and, and the spec will be defined. When the spec are, the specs are defined, then it's time to, I think, to open a pull request for the implementation. And this implementation will, will go to the experimental namespace. And uh, it was also requested that when we provide a, a new procedure, a new function of subroutine, then that we associate a unit test to, to this, uh, these procedures. And then the last step, we never reached that yet, uh, but the last step would be to release the different procedure uh, uh, in a stable uh, version of uh, STDB. This is still uh, need to be discussed and be uh, clarified how to do that. Um, so this is uh, basically the status of, uh, of the standard library, and I would like to acknowledge all the contributors I name a few here, uh, but uh, definitely it's not uh, the full list. And uh, so, please, thank you to all contributors to to, stand, to to the standard library. Without them, it would not be possible to achieve that since December. So, thank you. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there are questions. Are there questions that I could answer? Um, All right. Um, yes, there are. Um, and I think two of them go in, in, in a very similar direction. Um, namely, what you plan on the integration between the Fortran standard library and BLAST, LAPAC, or uh, FFTW. So, do you plan to provide um, implementations which are simpler and just work without much tuning? Um, or do you plan to integrate these standard libraries and wrap them? Um, that's a good question yeah th there's been some discussion uh, about that um so the idea i think um there's no con consensus yet for that but uh yeah i think that when we can wrap them it, it would be nice but of course we also would like that the standard library can be uh, it's not too dependent to other uh, further part, so uh, it should have also the, its own implementation, some somehow. 
Okay. Um, then the next question is, uh, which Fortran standard does the FSL use? Uh, currently, I think it's a uh, uh, standard uh, 2008. So the option uh, for checking that in the compilers are, are on. And if I remember where it was uh, 2008, it was thanks to uh, Martin who implemented that uh, recently. Okay. Um, concerning that, um, the, the problem I see currently with, uh, with the Fortran language is that it's difficult to implement um, kind of like backwards compatibility features or wrappers. So let's say that, um, that you would like to implement a functionality which is only present in the newer standard with an older library. So what is the difficulty there um, to kind of like provide a standard library which would also work with older standards? Do you think that that would be something which is possible or do you just say, okay, no, we have to push to newer versions. If you want to use the FTL, um, then you have to use at least a 2008 compatible compiler. Um, yeah, we, we, we have to decide uh, some limits. For example, we, we saw that uh, the G4.7 is not uh, as a bug and it's not uh, compatible uh, with the current version of the standard library. So we decided to not support that anymore. Um, so we, I think that we have to, to put some limits there and we cannot uh, support everything. Yeah, that's, that's clear. Yes. Okay. Um, great. Thank you very much. Um, for discussion, uh, I think you will be available uh, on Slack. Um, please take that to the conference uh, channel on Slack. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Jeremy, again. Thank you.